Hey guys, Sundown Rider here. This is going to be my chapter review to One Piece 883, Merienda. Now, I really, I, I enjoyed the chapter for the most part. There, were, there was a small chunk of it I actually didn't like, though. The, if you've read the chapter, which I hope you have, continue watching the review. But the part where we see Katakuri in his, like, goofball mode, I really, I have a few gripes with that. I, I wasn't sure, because a lot of people in the Reddit uh, thread, sub-thread, in the manga stream comments afterwards, they were fine with it. They were like, yeah, this is very older like uh, this is very older like to see Katakuri do this, you know, to have Katakuri become like this. But I was like, the whole idea of Katakuri was that he wasn't following the trope of everyone else, you know? And I understand, like, the whole dimension of the um, Big Mom pirate crew and the family, but I didn't really want to see that from Katakuri. The only one who's been putting in work, the only one who was better than everyone else and competent, I was like... I'm not too sure I, I like that, but everyone else seemed to like it in the mainstream comments and the red stream, uh, red stream, the Reddit comments. So I was like, I'm not so sure what you guys liked about it. I understand that it's very older like, but this didn't need to be older like. You know, I did, I'm kind of disappointed about it. But let, I'll get onto that later. Let's talk about what actually happened in the chapter. So the first part is the cover story: Idio, Blue Gilly, and Jeet joined the fight between those two ships, which were exchanged in cannon fire last chapter. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're just going in. I liked I liked that actually. I want to, I want to see where it goes on to and who, whether they find someone they know on the on the ships, whether they find some form of, form of treasure or a map or some shit. I don't know, but yeah, I want to see what goes on with that later on. So coming on to the fight, the initial fight scene between Luffy and Katakuri was yet again badass. You know, Katakuri showing exactly why uh, and exactly how competent he is by making sure that Luffy cannot utilize his gear fourth form. I just want to briefly mention here. In the manga stream comment between uh, the manga stream di dialogue and the Jaimini's box dialogue in terms of their translation was they, they were miles apart this this chapter and I, I haven't actually read many Jaimini's box translations but this time especially for that part where Katakuri is making sure that Luffy can't use his gear forth the Jaimini's box translation just made a lot more sense it, for the manga stream one he said something along the lines of uh, I'm just gonna shut up and observe uh, making it sound like he's going to hold down Luffy and watch to see what he can do. Whereas that's not really what he, he would say. In the Jaimini's box translation makes much more sense where he's like, why would I let you, Why, if I've foreseen you using Gear Fourth, why would I let you use, utilize a more powerful form? And that's why I'm holding you down. So he's not going to observe shit, he's just holding him down because he doesn't want him to freaking use Gear Fourth. So that made a lot more sense. And then there were little parts all the way through this chapter where Jaimini's box translations just made more sense. So I'm not sure which which um which group of people which group of translators has the better translations uh manga stream tend to accommodate more for english speaking audiences so they they change it up a little bit but it has always been good but jaimini's box i don't know it just it just felt better so let me know what you guys know of jaimini's box what how do they translate it do they accommodate for english speaking audiences as in they try to make it easily understandable or do they translate directly from japanese and that's why it makes so much more sense I don't know, but let me know in the comments so that I can I can decide on who to follow because I always exclusively follow manga stream. Yeah, so getting back to the chapter, we see some frustration and impatience from Katakuri. Instead of making sure that Luffy was actually in fact dead, he tries to suffocate him. So you see Katakuri looking at his pocket watch. He says he's actually impatient in this chapter. He's like, ah, oh, you know what? Fighting he's made me impatient. I really need to. I need to go. And uh, so although he is usually competent, it looks like he may have been running low on energy. That's what that's what I got from this chapter. Katakuri may, he's not sweating it out or anything, but he, he's, he's not that type of character. You know, he needs to keep up his appearances. From what we've seen in this chapter, he definitely needs to keep up his appearances. So he may have been running low on, on energy. He goes on to say that sugar is the source of his energy when the patissier uh, brings him some donuts and stuff like that. And this therefore pushed him to rush and essentially try and bottle up Luffy whilst also trying to kill him uh, while he re try tried to regain his strength and basically just lay back. Uh, because Katakuri thought it was job done, he didn't use Kenbun Shoku no Haki to see if Luffy would escape. And once again, I'm not too sure if I like this about Katakuri because he is meant to be one of the most competent antagonists we've had in this series for a while since maybe Luchi. I mean, Doflamingo was competent because he was just a freaking badass mofo. But Katakuri is meant to be competent in, a, in the mental sense, you know? He's meant to be aware of this shit. So I'm not too sure whether I, whether I like that or not, but I like the fact that we find out he, he, that Sugar seems to be the source of his strength, uh, of, his stretch, <laughs> of his strength and his stretch um, because he's a mochi, a mochi, mochi being. 
Um, and he, he does need to refuel himself like Luffy always has to refuel himself with whatever food he can find but he, he loves meat you know so I, I like that we found that out uh, but Katakuri's his, 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 his impatience seems to be what, what his downfall was in this chapter uh, and I, I can understand that I'm, I'm okay with that that's that's fine it wasn't so much that Katakuri uh, was in Egypt you know like we find out later <laughs> so Luffy's tenacity and will to survive has always been refreshing you know we, we've seen it since chapter one all the way up to now he's always always gonna survive but his semi his like semi fourth wall break in this chapter was hilarious I, I was actually like i was shook i was i was off my ass when he's like do i just gotta keep eating to win i was like yo this guy so i love this part because you can see luffy's frustration uh at like all these guys he's like why the i'm, I'm fighting like tooth and claw right now but also his genuine concern regarding how everyone's devil fruits seem to be friggin' food based. He's just like, what the, what the fuck, you know? So the Kenbun Shoku gag that followed that was funny as well. When uh, when Luffy sniffs for the donuts and they're like, hey, because he, he identified where, where what's his name, Katakuri was. But then he identified exactly what he was eating as well. And the cooks are just like, the patissiers are just there like, was that, was that Kenbun Shoku? I don't know. So um, then we come to the part of the chapter where I'm conflicted. And where a bunch of you might also be conflicted, but it, it didn't seem like that in the Reddit and Manga Stream comments. We see Katakuri in a totally unflattering scene where he's lying on his back, eating donuts, looking like a complete goofball. And he, he looks undignified, he's completely, he looks completely incompetent and he's in a state of incompetence because he's just sat back, not, not even noticing that Luffy is still fine. Uh, and on the one hand, you can say it's understandable because this is older. There's always going to be something like that uh, with the character of Katakuri's stature. There's always going to be a drawback to his character in terms of he's an idiot. But he and he's also the son of a crazy ass biatch. You know, his whole family has some strain of the crazy. So there was always going to be something wrong with Katakuri. But the reason why I dislike this is because in this pink, cartoony, fantastical, musical world. Katakuri was the only serious, competent, and truly worthy antagonist so far. I mean, Big Mom, she's no, she's no slouch, you know. She's she's been kicking ass, and she she could probably one shot Luffy if she actually connected with him. But he's the one. Katakuri's been the one who's been putting in the work, organizing everyone, leading the Big Mom crew. You know, Big Mom's just been going off on her hunger pangs, and he's been leading the crew. He's the second in command, in it, basically. So the fact that he's he's been smart, strategic, cunning, strong, everything. And now he's been relegated to basically some gluttonous idiot that almost forgot, uh, that sorry, that almost completely mirrors Luffy in his gluttony and stuff. And you're just like, what? So I understand that this is One Piece, but for once, I think it would have been better to leave Katakuri as the badass he was, and he didn't need to be odified to you know, to this state. He he was he was badass as he was, and because he was different, is why a lot of people liked him. I thought, so he didn't need to have his character destroyed just for luffy to find a way to win you know now Lu luffy could have found that having just popped out like eating his way out of the uh mochi or something like that and then katakuri's like yo shit okay i didn't think of that and then luffy like runs away for a while burns off all of that and uh, then comes back to katakuri and he's like right, i'm ready and then he kind of identifies it there because katakuri goes block mochi or or square mochi but everyone call it block square whatever uh, and then Luffy could have found out that way, but we didn't need Katakuri's character to be destroyed. I really don't like that. And you guys can say what you want, uh, whether you liked it or not. Let me know actually whether you liked it or not in the comments. But I personally didn't like that. Having said that, though, Katakuri looks sick as frick. He looks awesome when his mouth is closed and his teeth are just overlapping, you know, over his bottom lip and top lip. And uh, his, and his, he doesn't have that mochified jaw. It's not expanded, so he looks really good. Now, the last part I'm going to talk about in this chapter is obviously we have the fight between Luffy and he's getting his arms busted because uh, Katakuri's, uh, his um, Busso Shoku no Haki is stronger than Luffy's. But then Luffy connects a hit on Katakuri's jaw. He kicks him in the jaw. So we know that Luffy has observed something in this fight. He's gained something in this fight. And he, he says it in this chapter, I know I know the, the thing about your ability. I know your ability. So what it looks to me like is... When Katakuri focuses, so when he's specifically focusing his Busto Shoku no Haki, uh, so it's powerful enough, so this is the important part. So he, when he's focusing his Busto Shoku no Haki, so it's powerful enough to negate Luffy's, because obviously they have levels of Busto Shoku no Haki, you know. Uh, he can he can make it weaker than Luffy's, as, Lu as strong as Luffy's, or stronger than Luffy's, you know. We don't know how far he can go. 
but when he when he when he hardens it so it's uh, powerful enough to negate Luffy's, he can't focus his Kenbum Shokunohaki. So basically, he's 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 paying too much attention to his Busso Shokunohaki so that he can beat Luffy, so that he can't focus on his Kenbum Shokunohaki, and he, he's not really able to utilize both of them at the same time. Now, people on Reddit will have said this. People on Manga Stream will have said this, and I'm I'm an advocate for this. I'm thinking, yeah, this is, this is the way it's gotta go. Additionally, he seems to wind up his attacks a little more in his block mochi form or in his square mochi form, allowing Luffy to possibly use his own Kenbun Shokunohaki and retaliate faster. We know Luffy's been uh, using his instincts and just his base speed to dodge Katakuri and his, his reflexes are on an all-time high in, this, in these chapters. Uh, so he's he's been able to dodge all of Katakuri's attacks, but also Katakuri, you see a pattern where he's just winding up, uh, one, uh, like a right jab or something, a right, stri- a right straight. And uh, Luffy's just like, yo, okay. And that's the moment when he kicks him. So, Katakuri could just return to his original fighting style, but Luffy seemed to have uh, more... St- well, Luffy seems to... <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Luffy seems to have more stamina, and he really gauged Katakuri's style a couple chapters ago. That's why he was able to start dodging him and things like that, and then Katakuri uh, showed us his awakening. Katakuri needs to put Luffy out of commission, though, because uh, obviously Luffy has the more stamina, so when you're fighting someone who has more stamina, you, you, your aim is to basically put them out. You, if, they, if they can go the full 12 rounds, but you're the powerhouse, knock them out, you know? But he can't focus both forms of Haki at the same time, so he can't he can't foresee what Luffy's going to do and try and put him out of commission at the same time. Add to this how irate and flustered Katakuri is, Luffy may actually have the upper hand. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a really nice kind of mix of uh, all these different dimensions and it's it, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying that part of the fight and that part of Katakuri I just didn't like what happened before this you know um, so I'm hoping Katakuri actually does regain some semblance of calmness though I understand he's meant to be goofy as fuck in real life but this chapter I feel has hurt Katakuri in my eyes you know he's he's meant to be better than this this is Katakuri we're, we're talking about this is the best antagonist since like Rob Luigi maybe uh, I really, I really, really like Doflamingo. Um, I'm not sure if the rest of you guys did. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys did, but I really like Doflamingo. But I think that Katakuri has just been amazing, and I don't, I don't like what this chapter did in that small part. But I do, th- I do like what it's doing now between the fight with Luffy and Katakuri. I just, I'm not too sure exactly what Luffy observed. But having said what I've said, it must be the fact that he can't focus, he can't, he can't maintain a high level. Of both forms of haki, so he can't have a high, he can't have his high highest form of Busa Shokuna haki alongside his future seeing um, Kenbun Shokuna haki. It's not going to work like that. He can't maintain both of them at the same time. And then, as I was saying, he's already fatigued, uh, he's irate, he's lost his calmness, all of that. And Luffy seems to, when when Luffy identifies someone's weakness, that's when he kind of steps in and takes it a notch higher, you know. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys thought of the whole Katakuri thing with his laying on his back and, you know, being basically incompetent and being a, base, a goofball as well. So uh, let me know what you guys thought of that. I'm going to give this a chapter because the rest of the chapter, apart from that, was actually a solid chapter. It was like a six, it was like a 7, 7.5. But that part of the chapter, I'm not going to really include it in my rating because that was just my uh, dislike or disdain for that part. But the actual chapter in and of itself was a good chapter. It was like a 7, 7.5. And there's no break next week. So, so we're all good. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in a bit.